Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sharmat. In this session, we will discuss another scenario for cursor. This time we will discuss a process through which we can easily fetch the data from multiple column with where clause. Okay, so in short you can say that we are going to discuss how we can utilize the cursors with where clause in order to fetch multiple columns. So to explain this process, first of all I will show you the data, the actual data that we have in our table. So here I am running one query, select star from Sharmit1 slash table1. If I hit enter, you will see there are multiple columns. So now understand the requirement. Suppose we want to fetch the employee ID as well as year of service but only for those employees whose age is 35. Okay. So what we want? We want employee ID as well as year of service but only for those employees whose age is 35. It means we want these two points, these two records. 6 because here the age is 35 and this because here also the age is 35. So this is the requirement. Now we will utilize the cursor in order to fetch these record. Let's see how. So in, a, in my sample program what I am doing first of all I have declared one constant which is SQL state underscore valid with five times zeros and this constant we will use to verify the SQL status once we have executed the SQL statement. Okay, so it will check whether the query is executed properly or not. Below to this I have declared two variables. So my first variable is w underscore emp id which I'm, I will use to store the employee id retrieved from the query. My second variable is w underscore yos which is where yos is, uh, stands for year of service. Make sure that whenever we are creating any work variable or any program variable you can keep this w underscore so it will directly show that yes this is the work field or program variables this is just a coding standard afterwards we have set the exact sql set option to commit star none okay and below to this we are using the actual cursor so this time the cursor declaration is a bit different as we have discussed in last session what we are doing here we write exec SQL which is for execute SQL declare this time I have mentioned the cursor name as get data then the keyword cursor for and here we are selecting the records so you can see select employee ID comma year of service from Sharmit1 slash table 1 where age is 35 so as I told you that it's a trick like whenever you are creating cursor make sure that firstly you verify the query so just copy this portion paste it here and just run it so you can see it is showing exactly that data which was our requirement yeah it is printing employee id 1 uh, with year of service 5 employee id 6 with year of service 5 because these are the record which has the age 35 clear now cursor is declared now we will open the cursor so just same process okay, let me check just a second okay so let me run this here yeah so here what we did we just make uh, we just open the cursor so open get data and after that we are fetching the data so to fetch the data what we are doing we are running one loop do while SQL state is equal to SQL state underscore valid then we are running the exec SQL to fetch the get data into and you can see this time we are using two host variable which is w underscore emp id and w underscore yos which is year of service so this is the difference in last session we were using only one host variable because but this time as in cursor declaration you can see we are uh, selecting two columns that's why we have mentioned two host variable here 
once this is executed we will check for SQL state if SQL state is equal not equal to SQL state valid then leave the loop else print the values because if it is not valid means there is some error so we will just simply leave the loop otherwise we will print the employee ID or end year of service then simply do end do and after that we are just closing the cursor and setting the INLR on okay so I hope everything is clear what we are doing uh, differently here is uh, we are just fetching the employer ID and year of service means two column with where clause in cursor and then for that we need to use two host variable like this okay so let's quickly compile this program and call it you can see firstly it is printing one employee ID then year of service 5 then 6 and then year of service 5 okay and same thing if you would like to check again over the query let me run the query for you so you will see that yes these are the record uh, 1 because here the age is 35 and year of service is 5 similarly 6 where age is 35 and year of service is 5 so this is how we can utilize this cursor with where clause as well as with uh, multi for the multiple columns so yeah that's all for this session in the next session we will discuss another topic so thank you for watching tech sharmat